Hello, this is Professor Jones, and I'll be going over the course navigation for Art 4, History of Modern Art, the summer course, which is a shortened course from a normal semester. So I've had to take all of the information and condense it down to about six weeks. So you see we have 11 modules that we'll be navigating over the next six weeks. This is the home page. Pretty much um, every time we go from one module to the next module, I'll be changing the home page and updating the information. Also be sending you emails to remind you of when things are due. The best way to communicate with me is through the inbox here on the canvas shell. So if you click on that, then there's a little icon with a pencil that's compose a new message. You would select our course, Art 4, type in my name, Diane, spell it correctly, Diane Jones, click on my name, give your subject um, homework uh, update or whatever it is that you're communicating with me, type your message, press send, and that would come to me. The reason why it's so easier, it's the best way to communicate with me because when you communicate via Canvas, it indicates what class you're in, and it gives me um, a quicker way to respond to your emails. So we're back to the home page. This course, uh, all the information is available to you. So let me just kind of show you, close some of these modules. Um, like I said, we have 11 modules. All the due dates are available. And each module um, is set up pretty much the same. The first learning module is a little different because I go over some of the course information. But usually a typical module will look like this where there's an instructor's introduction. So if you open that page, there's a short video that you're required to watch, which would then explain to you what's being um, studied over that particular learning unit. So this one is discovering a world of art. As you navigate the modules, there's always going to be the instructor's introduction and then just a basic introduction, which kind of summarizes the, the contents of that learning unit. Anytime you see a required video, um, you can just click on it and watch it within the Canvas shell. There's always going to be an overview of activities. So this will, again, um, review the main topics covered in the learning unit. There might be a PowerPoint or a video that, that talks about the overviews of that um, learning unit. And you'll always want to download, read, and review whatever the reading is. So you can click on that, and that would basically take you to a PDF that you're going to want to read all the information. And a lot of the answers to the quizzes are located in these PDFs. So always be sure to read the PDF before you move on to doing the weekly quizzes and also the homework assignments. And these are all, anytime you see a blue um, text, it means that it's a link. And so for this learning unit, there are three different lectures. And you can click on these um, lectures and it's going to show you the required videos along with a PowerPoint presentation that you'll need to download and listen to. I've included in announcements um, how to access the PowerPoints. So you're able to get a free version of Microsoft Word so you can have access to the PowerPoints. If you're having any issues with that, please send me an email via Canvas so I can help get your um, computer set up correctly for this the course information. Um, let's go back to the home page. So as you can see, there's um, all of the information is available and open for you. Let's go back to the first introduction. Here are my course policies in that first module. I'm making the navigation right now, so that will be available. I've got some information about my expectations for your discussion posts. Most of the homework assignments are discussion posts, so you'll probably want to watch this video. Anytime you see um, something that doesn't say Art 4, it just means that I teach this class at a couple of different schools, but the content is the same. It's just the name of the class might be slightly different. 
So if you ever have any questions, just shoot me an email. But hopefully everything will be um, made very, the information will be very clear for you. This is the grading rubric for most of the discussions. And um, a little bit about the etiquette for being online. I just want you to be respectful and, and kind to your classmates. Uh, here's the video about embedding images. You're definitely going to want to learn how to do that because throughout the semester we will be embedding images into many of our discussion post homework assignments. I created a kind of a classroom cafe for you guys. This is a discussion board so you can get to know each other outside of the course content. I won't be checking this very often. This is really a space for you guys to be able to send each other messages. And then it goes into the introduction, um, a required video. There's a lot of required videos throughout the course, so I hope you take the time to watch them. Reading all of this information will be helpful for you when it comes to answering the um, discussion post homework assignments and the quizzes for each module. Like I said, each module has um, an overview of activities, so that also helps with kind of bringing you to areas where you would need to watch a video lecture. So here's a good example. This is a great lecture. It's the same content that I use for a different course at a different school called Visual Perception Through Photography. Um, and, but I, I, I'm just reusing the information for the Art4 class. It's all the same information. Um, so I hope you enjoy that lecture. Um, more text that you'll want to review about the visual analysis, which is something that we'll be using as a method of study throughout this course. So this is just something that you can refer back to throughout the course, defining the physical properties, analyzing the formal structure, talking about symbolism and subject matter, and then one of my favorite topics, which is cultural context, which is covered in the lecture that I was just referencing. And then, of course, the homework assignments. So all the homework assignments will have the due dates, and I'll also be sending you emails. All of the homework assignments have some sort of um, either video or PowerPoint where I go into the details of the assignment and what's expected of you. And here's a good example of that. Um, again, you're going to follow all the requirements, and here is a PowerPoint that you would want to download with audio that will also talk about um, what the requirements are and kind of make it easier for you to understand what I'm expecting you to do with this particular homework project. And then of course there's a quiz for each of the modules as well. So you can kind of see how, um, like I was saying before, I've tried to set up the modules so they're all the same. So module two, discovering the world of art along with the due date and you can just open up the modules and kind of see how there's always an instructor's um, introduction and then as you unfold throughout this the learning module you can see all the content that you're required to review before you do the homework and take the quiz and that just unfolds throughout the semester the final project module is also available for you to review um, and so if you want to look at that at any time, just to make sure that you're feeling like you understand the content, because this is such a fast-paced course, I encourage you to check some of this stuff out so then you're prepared with questions because this course will go by incredibly fast. So you can navigate any of these um, menu options. You can review the syllabus where I talk about the student learning outcomes. And if you navigate towards the bottom of the syllabus, there's other um, academic accommodations and tutoring that you can access. Even though we're not on campus, um, you can still get access online. And, and feel free to email me to learn more about that. And here again is the outline for all of the projects that are due. You're responsible for checking your grades regularly, and I'll remind you that in your emails. So if you're missing assignments and you see your grade dropping, I'm here to help you get your grade back up. You just need to email me to hopefully get partial credit for any missed assignments. 
Um, what else do I want to say? Oh, the other thing that's pretty cool that you might want to use as a reference is the calendar. So you can view the calendar and it also indicates what's due on what date. So you can kind of see that most of the projects are either due on a Thursday or a Sunday. And that was that that's pretty much um, standard throughout the whole semester. But this is another way to view what's coming up. You can print this out and have access to it if you're more of a visual person and want to have that in your study area. So that gives you an overview of this course. Um, please review all the information and let me know if you have any questions. I hope this navigation video helps you to feel more comfortable navigating the online learning environment that I have created for you. So welcome to Art 4, Modern Art History. My name is Professor Jones. Be sure to email me through Canvas if you have any questions. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.